गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट अ न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज अ सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशन दिस कम्स अंडर द सिलेबस ऑफ फिजिक्स फॉर इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग फर्स्ट ईयर बीटेक फर्स्ट ईयर तो व्हाट इज सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशन द मोशन ऑफ एन ऑक्सीडेटिंग पार्टिकल अबाउट एन इक्विलिब्रियम पॉइंट अंडर सम रीस्टोरिंग फोर्स दैट इज प्रोपोर्शनल टू द डिस्प्लेसमेंट बट इन अपोजिट डायरेक्शन लेट अस कंसीडर अ पेंडुलम लेट ई दिस बी अ पेंडुलम एंड दिस इज द इक्विलिब्रियम पॉइंट and let it be displaced to this point a and the left then the particle the ball will move along this direction from a to o and then o to b and repeat its motion this type of motion is known as simple harmonic motion right the simple harmonic motion is the again i am defining that the simple harmonic motion of an oscillating particle about any equilibrium point through a restoring force is directly proportional to the displacement and in opposite direction suppose the body is moving in this direction then force will try to bring it to the equilibrium position so this is the simple harmonic motion the oscillations are generally of two type that may be free oscillation or that may be forced oscillation so let us discuss these two oscillations one by one what are free oscillations right so when a body is moved from its equilibrium position and left under its own natural frequency then that is free oscillation that means body oscillates under its own natural frequency natural frequency that means there is no external force on it after some time we can see that after some time the amplitude continuously decreases because there is no external force and the amplitude decreases and the body comes to rest finally at the equilibrium point right if you move leave the body from this point let it is a equilibrium point o and we have moved the body from o to a and leave that then the body will oscillate along a o b and this amplitude continuously decreases like this and finally the body comes to at rest at that equilibrium position such type of oscillations comes under free oscillations as the free oscillations the amplitude dies out very soon like this right and as the amplitude is decreasing continuously these type of oscillations are also known as damped oscillations damped oscillations the second type of oscillations are forced oscillations oscillations if the body oscillates under some periodic external force then that type of oscillations are known as forced oscillations that is there is one external periodic force periodic force right and in starting the body oscillates with its natural frequency but the natural frequency natural oscillations die out very soon and the body starts oscillating under this periodic external force we see this type of oscillations in our wall clock with pendulums right they used to oscillate under some periodic oscillations with a force battery right so there are two type of oscillations one is free or damped oscillations and the other is forced oscillations so this is the basic introduction of simple harmonic motion we can also write that the simple harmonic in simple harmonic motion the force is directly proportional to x this is the restoring force and this can be written as f is equal to minus some constant k into x where f is the restoring force restoring force x is the displacement and k is known as restoring constant this is the force constant or restoring constant constant or restoring constant here negative sign shows that the restoring force is opposite to the displacement 